Hey guys, what's up? This is Ben Golver, the national NBA writer for the Washington Post. As you can see, I'm here at the idyllic Walt Disney World Resort where the NBA is hosting its bubble for the next three months. The plan is to play 88 regular season games followed by a full playoffs on the campus of Disney World. I'm going through a one week quarantine period in my hotel room, which means I cannot leave for any reason. I'm actually wearing a green wristband. That tells security if they see me walking around the campus, they better stop me and bring me back to where I'm supposed to be. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple standard, uh, you know, two bed hotel room for families. Here's my little desk setup, nothing fancy there. We have been given some medical devices to track our pulse on our finger like so. Uh, we've got a temperature gauge. We report this to the NBA every single day. I got a couple snacks just in case I go crazy. They've been feeding us three times a day. I've been trying to stash all the junk food so that I don't eat it. It arrives just like this. So you got a little salad there. Got some veggies here. It looks like maybe some applesauce or some something like that. I don't know. And then the main course. Looks like a chicken sandwich with some pesto and some pasta. And then on top of all that, we usually throw in some sweets. It looks like we got a little sandwich there too. You'll see that, you know, it's not necessarily gourmet quality, but you do get a lot. How do you exercise when you're in the bubble and when you're stuck in your hotel room quarantine? And for me, uh, I'm kind of limited what exercises I can do anyway from a health perspective. So what I really like to do is long distance walking. You know, during the quarantine period at home, I was actually walking as much as eight miles a day or more around my neighborhood in sort of a safe and socially distant fashion. Here in my hotel room, I've only been able to essentially walk back and forth eight paces at a time in the hotel room. Uh, that's the, the full length of the room from one end to another, but I've been doing that every morning and then again at night just to burn stress, to get away from staring at the computer all day long. You know, games begin on July 30th. It's not that far away. Teams have already begun practicing. They've already been, uh, you know, gone through extensive testing. And so far, there really haven't been any positive cases that have gotten into the bubble itself. And they're going to begin scrimmages next week. So everything right now is on track according to plan. And I think it's a positive start, all things considered, for the NBA.